Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about four items that you can craft with the different professions from Shadowlands and that I think are some profitable items you can easily craft and with which you can make quite a lot of gold. So these four items are linked to four different professions, which are alchemy, jewel crafting, tailoring, and uh, inscription. And I am going to explain in this video what are these four items, how much they are worth, and also how you can drop the different recipes in order to start crafting these different items. So let's start by explaining what are these four items. These four items are the cosmetic items that you can craft with the different Shadowlands professions. You have four headpieces and these are the, the items that we are interested in today. So you first have this uh, mask that you can craft with inscription. So as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty cool looking mask. Um, and a lot of people are using it as a transmog. After that, you have the crone of the righteous that you can craft with uh, jewel crafting. And this one is also a really, really cool um, looking helm. So this is another transmog piece that a lot of people are using currently. After that, you have the red nogging candle. So this one is with alchemy and this one is very unique. Uh, you literally have just a burning candle on your head. So again, a transmog that many people will find interesting. And the last one, which comes with tailoring, is this pink party hat. And this is also a very cool looking hat, a um, little bit like a wizardy hat. So a lot of people, again, are using this transmog. So these four transmogs can be used by everyone as they are cosmetic items, which make them very, very interesting because, again, everyone can purchase them from uh, through the auction house. As you can see, the different uh, sell rates are pretty good. 0 0.48 for the Red Nogin candle. Then we have 0 0.77 for the Crown of the Radios, 0 0.96 for the Pink Party Hat, and 0 0.35 for the Fi Revel Mask. So all these different items sell really well. And I can guarantee you that just by crafting these different items, you will be able to make quite a lot of gold. So as you can see, the value is not really, really impressive, but on most realms, it will still be interesting to craft these different items. So as you can see for this one, the, uh, the European region market uh, average is 2,400 gold. For the crone, it is 1,500. But for instance, right now on my realm, this is around 3,000. The pink party hat, unfortunately, is probably like the cheapest one because it's very easy to craft and there are so many taters. So this is something a lot of people are crafting and selling. So as you can see, the, the region market value average is 500 only. And then the Fire Rebel mask, which has a market value of 2,500. So all these different items have still a pretty decent mar market um, value average in general. Of course, on some realms, these different headpieces will really, really be bad. Um, on some realms, for instance, I know that the pink party hat sell for, sells for less than 50 gold. Same with some of these other um, transmog pieces. So again, this is something that you need to first look at the auction house, see if the prices are interesting, if there is a lot of competition. And if you find the, the different items interesting enough, then you can start crafting them and selling them. But of course, again, for instance, on Hyper Plumes, most likely all these different items will sell for only a few gold and it won't be very interesting to craft and sell these different items. So I will now really try to explain how you can get all the different recipes to farm these, uh, to craft these different transmogs. And also we will see what are exactly the different materials that you need in order to craft the items. So 
the first one is the red nogging candle so as you can see the different materials are very very cheap uh, this is really again some easy transmog pieces to craft so most of them the craft will be between like maybe like 10 to like 50 or maybe 100 gold max so on most rooms you will be able to make at least one 2k benefit on each of these items so when it comes to this specific um, item in order to get it you need to get the recipe for the red nogging candle and in order to get it you need to uh, buy it for 10 of these infused ruby and you need to buy it to the board dredger the board dredger is located in raven dredge and it is um, only available when you like spawn him by opening the different tombs so you really need the different crypts so you just need to follow these instructions that people are providing on warhead and normally you should be able to then find some keys open the different crypts and sometimes this mob will spawn and then you have only 10 seconds to buy the recipe so this one is probably like the most annoying one to get and i think this is why also the prices for this one are a little bit more up than others but it's still pretty easy to do it's just a little bit longer but it's not very challenging it's probably just a, a matter of half an hour in total especially if you already made the quest then it's very easy but yeah so that's how you will be able to get the recipe and once you have it as you can see you just need to have uh the different uh, the the profession alchemy shadowlands at level one so this is really easy to craft and uh yeah so that's it for this red nogging candle Let's now talk about the pink party hat. So in order to craft the pink party hat, you just need these three material. And again, this is so, so cheap. Uh, here we're really talking about less than 30 gold. So in order to get the recipe, you will need to kill some uh, mobs in Maldraxxus. And then, of course, you need to be on your tailor in order to drop the recipe. But once you're, you've killed all these different mobs, you have a small chance to get the recipe. I remember when I did it, I honestly just killed like maybe three of the, these mobs and I got the recipe. So I'm not sure exactly if you have ways to increase your chances. But I would say that again, this is not very challenging, especially if you're playing on a level 60, you will be pretty like, you know, like fine with killing a bunch of mobs and so as you can see according to warhead all these mobs are the best ones to uh, kill in order to drop the recipe especially in a turbulent juice but again maybe you will have the chance to get it on other mobs as well as you can see here you have others that can be a little bit interesting too uh but yeah so that's uh the recipe for this uh transmog and again as for the red nogging candle the tailoring needs to be at level one in order to craft the item so again this is very easy something you can do on alts and it's definitely an interesting item to craft in my opinion so let's now talk about the inscription uh, item which is the um fire revel mask so this mask in order to craft it, uh, you need a few of these inks and then some uh, random um, things that you can buy directly from the different vendors. And depending on the realms, really, these different inks are very, very cheap. So again, you will probably be between like 50 to 100 gold to craft these different masks, which is very, very cheap, especially as you can see on most realms, uh, both US and European here is 1700 so really it's easy to sell a bunch of them and make a small profit when it comes to the technique here in order to get it it's actually very easy especially if you unlocked flying in shadowlands you just need to go in arden world and you need to buy it uh, from this uh, mob which is called bright gillam so 
if you are flying as you can see you can directly fly to him and buy it you can only of course buy it if you are playing on a character who has inscription and if you don't have flying you can just use this this mushroom and it will make you jump and you can then just slowly fall on the mob and buy the recipe so this is really something that should take only a few minutes and again this is a very interesting item you can craft it on uh alts as it only requires one uh in um shadowlands inscription and so that in my opinion this is probably like the best one because this is the one that i saw i've sold the most and i don't know i think the just the overall look of the item is probably the best and i know that this is the one that is selling for uh the best price so i would really encourage you to do that if you have um an inscription um character and if you don't again you can create an alt and then you can learn the recipe and start crafting the item so finally after that we have the crown of the radius so this one here the price is not so good but again on most realms as we have seen it's going to be more than 1000 gold or maybe even more than that so in order to craft it it's again very very cheap on most realms is going to be less than 50 gold maybe up to 100 gold on some realms especially if the selenium ore is a little bit um a little bit expensive but other than that, it's a very easy uh, item to craft. So in order to get it, you need to go to ba Bastion and you need to get it from a chest. So as you can see from here, uh, I got it on my first try. Uh, but apparently it has only a 6% chance drop. Even if I think most people were saying that you can easily get it uh, at your first try. So the chest only appears once a week so hopefully you will get it on the first week on your first attempt but if you don't you can just retry the week after and probably you will get it after your second or third try so this one also just requires to have shadowlands jewel crafting uh, profession level one and uh, this one is very very interesting uh, too so when it comes to the location of this chest as you have seen from the video it's in passion and it's just there and again this is easier to access the chest if you are flying but you can also access it if you don't and yes this is another transmog that will definitely sell a lot and i'm sure that on many realms it's still very interesting to craft these different transmog pieces so even if on some of especially the ipop realms it's not i'm sure that some of you who are watching this video will be able to make some gold with these different cosmetics so that's it for today's video um, i know that this is not some crazy items um, and that's probably you won't be able to make millions with these different cosmetics but i think it's still something that is always nice to have up on your auction house and with these average sell rates you will most likely be able to sell at least maybe once like one per day or maybe more and again on many realms uh especially if you go on the undermine journal you can see that really they sell uh for quite a lot of gold as you can see for my realm again this is like a low pop realm so this is normal but as you can see all of them are above 2000 and yes they all sell pretty pretty quickly still so that's why i wanted to make this video just to share this information if you haven't uh, noticed before all these different cosmetics that you can craft and if you already have some professions up then it's even easier for you to start uh, but yeah i would be interested again in the comments to know if uh, you have been able so far to make a lot of gold with these different cosmetics and if you are only trying after uh, watching this video please also let me know what are your results and if you've been able to make some gold with these different items so that's it for today's video i will be back with more videos um, very very soon and yes i hope this video will help you make a little bit more gold and hopefully with my other videos you will be able to find some good ways to make some gold in uh, shadowlands so stay tuned and i will see you all very soon bye